A game like Among Us spawns all kinds of theories and myths, and we're here to break them down for you guys. Hey y'all, welcome to Top 10 Gaming. I'm Patty D, and this is Top 10 Among Us Myths. Number 10, crewmates are stickmen. So when you kill a crewmate, they leave behind this nice little honey roasted ham, just a butt and legs with a single bone poking out. Now there's already lots of opportunity for humor and speculation due to this bone, but there's one theory we find really interesting. The crewmates are actually stickmen, just like in the Henry Stickman games also from Innerslot. This totally makes sense, especially given how many other references to the Henry Stickman games are already found in Among Us. There are also references to Among Us in the Henry Stickman games, so a shared universe has basically already been established. Maybe this is a connection that will be further explored in a future game. Number nine, it's easier being the imposter. A lot of players like to claim that it's totally easier being the imposter, as you're just running around killing the crewmates, while those guys have to manage the ship and try to suss out who the imposter is. This is supported by the fact that imposters can sabotage the ship, but I think it's definitely harder to be a crewmate, just because of all the stress. You're constantly looking over your shoulder, and if you're a sensitive person, this can definitely wear on your nerves, whereas imposters just kinda get to run around killing. This debate was sort of settled recently, when the Among Us official Twitter account started sharing some interesting stats and stuff about the game. According to this image, imposters win almost 60% of games. So regarding this myth, I would have to say it's true. Imposters definitely have it a little easier. Number 8. A moving pet gives you away. If you happen to have a pet follower in the game, you might notice your pet moves around a little bit when you start performing a task. Specifically, he like scooches a little bit closer to you. Maybe he's just scared? It's been suggested that this can be used to detect imposters as an imposter faking a task won't have the same visual cue with the little pet moving because he's just standing there. Anyways, it turns out that the pet movement is actually visible to the player who owns the pet only. So even if your buddy is a crewmate standing next to you, he's not gonna see your pet moving. So this myth, 100% busted. But don't worry, there are still plenty of other tricks you can use to find the imposter. We could actually do a whole list. Top 10 secret ways to find the imposter. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss it. We do all kinds of Among Us videos. Number seven. Balloon hat camouflage? Alright, so according to this one, if you wear a balloon hat on the first map, the Skeld, and then you stand right below a camera, you can hide the blinking light on the camera. This one is just ridiculous. First of all, the hat actually ends up going behind the camera, and the red light is still just flashing invisible. Maybe this is something that used to work, but was fixed in a patch or an update? It's hard to say, but I mean, even if it worked, this would only really be useful if there were two imposters, and even still, blocking the light on the camera and just standing there is definitely sus. This myth, totally not even close to true. But it may have worked at one point. Number six, laboratory wall. This one is pretty awesome. On Mira, there's a laboratory room, and it has like a magic wall that I think is supposed to just be like a one-way mirror. So from the outside, you can look in and see what's happening inside the room. Likely useful for, you know, supervising your fellow crew members. But on the inside of the room, you can't see out into the hall. This means if you watch through the glass, you could potentially witness an imposter going into the vent or coming out. You could potentially even witness the imposter killing another crewmate in that room and he wouldn't know that you're watching. However, standing there watching through the glass would be pretty sus. But this myth is true. Number five, shields trick. Okay, so this theory is really straightforward and simple. On the Skeld, if you are given the shields task, you head to the area and you click on some hexagons to reactivate the shields. This is a visual task and a handy way to prove that you're not the imposter as there's like some flashing lights and it's pretty clear that you actually did the task. There's a great trick that you can do though and it's this. If you click right in the corner in between the hexagons, the task just instantly completes. All of them just light up. This isn't exactly the deepest or most useful myth, but uh, it does work and it could be handy if you're in a rush. Use this information wisely. Number four, same vitals. It has also been suggested that if two players are in the same room and you're on vitals, their vitals will look the same to anyone doing the task. Like if you're doing that task, you'll see these guys and they're just totally synced up. Apparently you can use this to figure out who's been killing who if the two people in the same room kill each other? Something along those lines? It's a weird myth. Anyways, it's been explored and it turns out that no crew members ever have the same vitals actually, with each person having a unique vital sign on the graph. So this myth, totally busted, but it definitely makes you think. I wish there was a little bit more cool stuff like that in the game that gives you information about the other crewmate. I think the future levels in this game are going to be very interesting. The cameras and everything, already really cool, but like the door sensors, 
stuff like that. Going forward, it's gonna get uh, really meta, especially now that everyone knows the meta. Number three, ghost hats. So this myth goes like this. If you're a ghost and you head to security and you look at the cameras, you can see the hats of other ghosts floating around. Not the actual player, literally just the hat. This one is actually legit. I think this type of thing might end up being patched or removed from the game at some point for the sake of realism or maybe like somebody could take advantage and exploit that. But as of right now, it totally works. I'm not really sure how useful this would be, but it, it does work. Don't tell the imposters. But it's, it's fun for you and your ghost friends if you're one of these players who always dies in the first couple minutes of the game. Number two, the crewmates have iPads. So on the level Polis, there's a task called Repair Drill that has you clicking little red exclamation marks in the corners of a touch screen to repair the drill. The myth here is that the color of the iPad is always the same as your character's color, suggesting that each character is actually carrying around a little data pad. Yo, maybe that's what their backpacks are for. Anyway, this is actually true. Take a look next time you're playing on the level Polis and you have the Repair Drill task. Personally, I love the attention to detail on stuff like this. It always helps you get really sucked into the game. Although it's not technically an iPad, there's no logo or branding on it, so it's probably just a cheap Samsung tablet or something. There's a whole crew of these guys, so it's like, uh, probably got like a business deal going on there. Number one, the elements. Okay guys, so this one is a little more of a rumor or a theory than a myth, but it's totally cool and I had to share it with you guys. People have said in the past that they think the upcoming new map for Among Us will have players who get voted out being drowned in one way or another, or dying in some water-based way. This theory is supported by the previous three maps' clever use of the elements in their executions. On the Skeld, the first map, you're ejected into space and die from a lack of oxygen, or air. On Mira, Earth is the execution method, as you're launched off of a cliff, basically, and just fall to your death on the ground. On Polis, fire is the execution method, with the player being tossed into a lava pit. Given this situation, it's a pretty sure guess that we'll be entering some kind of a watery grave in the next map. Some players suspect that it will be more like getting flushed down the toilet though than being drowned. So that's kind of nice. So gamers, what do you think the execution method will be on this new map? And what other myths have you guys heard about Among Us? Share your thoughts in the comments below and I'll feature some of them in my next video. Alright guys, now let's take a look at some comments from my last video, Top 10 Scary Among Us Mysteries Part 3. Michael Matabuena says, I would love if there's any detective role and bodyguards in cams. That would be cool, right? Yeah, that would definitely be cool. Uh, the bodyguards thing is definitely an interesting idea. I can really see that making things a little bit more complicated, especially if they were like NPCs. That kind of mechanic would really uh, make things more interesting. <laughs> Ultimate Mateo says, what I want is a battle mode where it's a race between two teams of crewmates and they have tasks they need to get done while the slacker role messes it up. Yo, I totally love this idea. It's so much more lighthearted than the base game and it would just be hilarious running around messing up tasks as the slacker. You could even have each team have a slacker whose job is to go sabotage the other team's progress. I can just see that being a barrel of laughs. Sonic is not amused says, I'm 98th like and I love Among Us for its scary, funny, mysterious theories. Yo, we also love Among Us for this stuff. Thanks so much to all of you guys for watching and for sharing your comments. I'm Patty D for Top 10 Gaming and I'll see you in the next one.